when I started playing the guitar, I didn't want to play fast or, you know, play complicated things. I just wanted to play clean and in a very good way. I just wanted to play what I exactly what I heard in my head and exactly what I hear in my head. So that's why I worked on my technique because, you know, um, back when I was starting, especially when I was studying a lot of classical guitar, I really paid attention to a lot of things, economy of motion, r r proper right hand and left hand technique and position and everything. But that's what, you know, what every other player needs to do, especially like if you play piano or keyboards, if you play mandolin and other instruments, you need to work on technique in order to play the repertoire. Uh, but we, we tend to separate these things, like uh, playing guitar sometimes is like, uh, uh, if you want to play with feel, it needs to be without technique. <laughs> if you want to play without feel, you need to play with technique. But actually, there's, there's no there's not this separation with other instruments. You need to just play your instrument as better as you can. That's why we study technique in order to get our, our ideas flowing in the best way possible. And I think it's funny how you're saying that you like the technical aspect of it without differentiating the feeling, right? Because the guys that we say are feeling guitars, guitars that has feel like David Gilmore, BB King, those guys also use techniques like bends and vibratos and slides. And they're also techniques, right? They're not the fast techniques, but they're also techniques nevertheless. Yeah, but also when you when you hear a lot of notes, like for example, Bach, nobody says to Bach, ah, yes, only technique. Uh, yeah, uh, or Vivaldi, yeah, right? Yeah, those guys yeah. that, that also play really fast songs. Yeah, Pag or, Paganini. Uh, yeah, if you hear a piece of, like, by Leeds or WC, for example, you need to have technique in order to get uh, on that level of expression because technique is not, is not only mechanical playing, it's also expression, it's also being able to produce a note with a good quality of sound. That's also technique for me. And not only fast things, you know? Uh, people tend to confuse these things. And when, when you think about technique, you only think about fast playing, but technique is not only that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, one of the most important things was uh, uh, producing a good sound from the start. Um, I, I think with the classical guitar, you need to have a good sound on your own. Yeah. The guitar... <laughs> no <laughs> effects, no amps, right? No, no, nothing no like effects, that. <laughs> no pedal boards, no amps. And the electric player tend to think too much about gear, you know? Uh, we, we we tend to think too, too much uh, uh if the sound uh, if i don't like the sound that means that i have to uh, modify something on the pedal board or i have to change amp but most of the time you can pretty much uh, adjust your sound by um, playing in a different way or study more the production of the sound yes. so that's uh, that, that's what you know, classical guitar helped me a lot achieve that. So even, you know, the uh, to keep your... Why I keep my nails short? Uh, because they are more comfortable, first of all, but also because of the sound. Because if you have longer nails, you have a different sound. Yeah. And um, Your sound, and, from what you told us, is a mixture of nail and flesh, right? To have yeah, the attack yeah. of the nail and the body of the flesh. Yeah, and also the way you shape the nail it, it it can it can you know produce a different sound so that that's what i um, learned with classical guitar and uh, it helped me a lot to you know produce a better sound from the start without touching anything from pedal board <laughs> to different guitars you know yeah. uh, th that's why tony's in the hands uh, it it sounds like uh, you know a banal thing but really tony is in the hands so uh, and another thing was also left hand strength, because we uh, electric guitar players we tend to solo a lot. We don't do yes. a lot of chords, you know. We we, <laughs> we solo, a lot. we concentrated a lot in soloing, but yeah. actually uh, classical guitar has a lot of polyphonic things. So you have to do a lot of chords, you have to do a lot of arpeggios, and uh, 
that kind of workout helped me a lot to achieve left hand strength. Uh, so yeah, th these two things were the most helpful. That is so great. And on your fingers only playing style, what would you say is harder playing only with fingers and what would you say is easier? Well, play, um, it's easier for sure to skip strings and playing uh, different arpeggios. Like I always say that the advantage you have with uh, with fingers is that you are able to play the chord shape. Sometimes when we have like different chord shapes, and if you want to play them with the pick, it's almost like one note per string, yeah. and uh, you you can sweep pick, but you don't have the same control uh, if you have like four different strings and every finger on the string, you know? Yeah. You have much more control with that because you can choose whatever order you want. You can you can start with whatever string you want. Yes, yes. So fingers are better if you want to play on different strings, but uh, it, it it is a little bit harder to play on the same string. So for example, if I have to alternate, on the same string and I have to do this kind of movement or three sometimes, I use ring, medium and index most of the time. I had to work a lot on that. And with the pick is a little bit easier. You have a little bit more control over the same string. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much the, the rule for me is that the pick is easier if you want to play on the same string. Take for example, all the like Malmsteen, Paul Gilbert kind of runs like three note per string, shred, 80s kind of stuff. <laughs> that kind of thing is way easier, I think, with with the pick rather than fingers. You you can achieve it with fingers, but it's it's harder. Right? I started with with fingers because I saw always my father playing classical guitar when I was at home, and he was playing with fingers. And I just saw that every guitar was meant to be played with fingers, you know? <laughs> I didn't know that you should use a pick with electric and fingers with classical. I didn't yeah. know about this difference. <laughs> so that's why I started with electric guitar. I, um, I started with, you know, uh, a lot of rock bands like Led Zeppelin, ACDC were a big thing when I was a kid. Um, Jimi Hendrix, of course, was kind of my big influence at the start. And then, you know, I the first thing I noticed that was hard with fingers uh, um, was producing the right sound, actually. Because back when I started, I didn't know the, uh, about uh, nails. So I was only using my flash in order to play the string. And the sound was too dark, was too muddy, you know? Okay. So I, I, I started to experiment with, uh, with nails once I, I started studying uh, classical guitar. So I, I came to know the world of nails and uh, it's a, a really complicated thing because when you, when you play with the pick, for example, if you broke the pick, you, you just change it, you know, you just take another one and continue. That's true. To play. That's true. If you break a nail, it's not really like that. It's not that comfortable. <laughs> so because of that, I, I like to keep my nails really short. Here's my nail here and yeah, yeah. Here. Just a little so bit have, over the flesh, right? Yeah, a little bit over the flesh. So, uh, flesh. So I have the the attack that is similar to the beak, but I, at the same time, you have a more uh, mid-range sound with fingers. Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's a darker sound rather than the beak. The, the attack is really different. But when you have nails, uh, you have a little more attack, and I think you need to have nails in order to play that your guitar with fingers. Yeah. I tried with nails, but it, the sound is too muddy. It's not really, <laughs> uh, I, I, I just don't like it. What were the things that made you uh, play so fluently like you play today? Well, I think because uh, I pretty much took a lot of attention on staying relaxed while I play. And I, I wanted to play, let's say, complicated things. I remember that one of the first uh, players that kind of introduced me to the virtuoso playing was Eric Johnson. And I wanted to play some of his lines and they were pretty fast. Yeah. But actually my goal was not to play faster than him. I just wanted to play clean like Eric Johnson plays. So 
uh, my goal was to play the thing as best as I can while staying relaxed. So th this was a really key, th th that was a really important thing for me. Um, another thing was also uh, playing slow, especially when I was starting playing. Um, the first hour of playing is always slow movements especially my practice routine right now i always pay attention to uh practicing slow and then um get to the speed but yeah, yeah. It, it needs to happen with time because when you practice slow you uh you hear a lot of uh, details that you can't really hear when you play fast yeah so in order to get this these details up 100 percent you need to play really slow at the start and that's what i was doing uh, basically from the start yeah. and of course i you know the more i was playing the the more i got you know consistent with that uh but i think yeah the the main two guys that kind of introduced me to the, the shred playing let's say were were eddie van allen first of all and uh, Ed Johnson, these two were, yeah, still one of my favorite players, yeah. Yes, yes, great, great names. And when you say slow, you mean, like, you can play even faster than you could if you, if you just warmed up a little bit and then ramped up the speed, but you consciously tell yourself, I'm gonna start playing, like, really slow, even though I can play faster, just to get all those small details right. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, but in reality, if you can play fast, that doesn't mean that you can play it slow. Because sometimes when you play slow, it requires a little bit more control, especially when you're playing legato stuff. Yeah. When you're playing slow, sometimes it is harder to do that rather than just shredding without tempo. Sometimes it's harder to do like um, it, to do a phrase with a slower tempo, but on time, rather than do it fast. So that's why I, I, I'm i always trying to study on different tempos, because people always think that faster means harder, but actually it isn't. <laughs> uh, sometimes there are, there are things that are actually harder at a slower tempo rather than a faster tempo. And I would guess yeah. the things you would practice would be the compositions and the repertoire you have to play live and things like that, right? Yeah, things like that, even new things. I really like to, you know, I, I, I don't have a really scheduled practice routine, like I play arpeggios for, for an hour and then scales <laughs> for an hour. It's not really like that. I, I, I don't have the, the patience to do that. I'm more like, I you know, grab the guitar and play what excites me the most in that moment. So, yeah.